can these two dogs be friends? This is Susie, a 10 year old miniature schnauzer and Champ, a nine week old miniature schnauzer. Champ's very enthusiastic, likes to jump and play and Susie's afraid of him. So here is how we helped Susie and Champ to be friends. When Susie was afraid of Champ, she would jump up on the couch. He couldn't get to her. Even if he put his front paws on the couch, Susie would just move further away, tuck her head into the pillow and ignore him. Susie didn't growl at him. She didn't lunge at him, but she was clearly afraid of him. So what we wanted to do was help Susie to build confidence, to let her know that the best thing that ever happened in her life was Champ coming into her home. How did we help Susie to build confidence? Champ was in his puppy pen and she was across the room from him. Whenever she would even glance at him, we praised her, told her good girl Susie and gave her a treat. In time, she took a step toward the pen. Again, we fed her and praised her. She came closer. She touched noses through the pen. We praised her so she didn't bark. She wasn't afraid when he was inside the puppy pen. The next thing we did was put Champ in his little carry bag and Susie and Champ went for a walk together. Champ couldn't walk, he's too young, but at least this told Susie that he was part of the family. Every time Susie looked up at Champ, we praised her, told her how wonderful she was. We took these walks many times during the day. When Champ was on the floor playing, Susie still did not come near. You, she stood back, she watched him, but she had no intention of going near him yet. It was too soon. So you don't force your dog. You let them decide when they want to come and investigate the new puppy. This clip is the first time Susie and Champ were together. Susie decided that she wanted to approach Champ and you can see she's hesitant. She's backing away, she's lifting her paw. She's not sure, but she's starting to think that Champ is a pretty good playmate. She looks to us for guidance and we are continually praising her and telling her she is a good girl. In this clip, you can see that Susie's getting a little more relaxed and you will see her stretch. Stretches will help any dog to feel better. Stretch, yawn, shake off. They're all ways that dogs help themselves to relax. Here is Champ sitting and Susie sniffing him. This is the first time that Susie's really gotten a chance to sniff him all over and to really get to know Champ. This is a clip from the following day. Susie's starting to be more relaxed. She's play bowing. You can see her actually pawing to initiate play with Champ. Champ is very confident. So we want him to learn how to play appropriately. We are not going to let him jump on her we will allow Susie to growl at him, to tell him when he has been too much of a jerk. And we will also remove him when he starts to be too much and starts to bite on Susie. We want Susie to have confidence and we also want Champ to know good play skills. Here is the owner praising Susie and telling her what a good girl she is for playing so nicely with the puppy. What a good girl. What a good girl, Susie. What a good girl. What a good girl. Yes. If you'd like to know more about introducing dogs, here is a video how to introduce a puppy into a home with another dog and also how to get two dogs to like each other. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave me some comments how you introduced your puppy to your dog. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and if you got some information from the video, please smash that like button. Thanks, bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.